higher than that this year. I think we've got about 10 homes so far in the men's race. So Jep Kesho then, the winner of both Milan and uh, Lisbon in 2014, heading for a time here today of around 2.26, we think. It's a little while since we've had a time indication for the 28-year-old. Certainly she's not going to be setting a new personal best. That was when she was third here last year, that 2.24. Very impressive running. Something like that. And Elijah Kemboy, well, he's a 207 performer, so he would be very, very unhappy with that result. Very experienced at 31 years old, maybe too many marathons in his life. Credit him for laying it on the line. He really went for it today. It was all or nothing for Malati. The glory of a place in the Rio team was dangled in front of him like a carrot, but he's fallen just short, sadly, although uh, second to Bommier amongst the French runners. So Visline Jeb Kesho, well, maintaining the uh, fabulous consistency of the uh, Kenyans in the women's race. Well, Jep Kesho here, heading surely for victory. Two hours 17 on the clock. Enjoying the isolation through the Bois de Boulogne and there's still a good cadence to that leg turnover. Really smooth and strong looking. And heading for the $50,000 uh, euro prize money is Jep Kesho, surely. Had some stubborn resistance from Chala and Tefera of uh, Ethiopia and Mengistu as well, the defending champion, but she's left them all in her wake. Her compatriot, Rebecca Chizire, is not far behind. She's had a good run today. But Viseline Jep Kesho, give her a full name, Viseline Chemiron Jep Kesho. You can see that clock showing two hours, 18 minutes. And knows a good time beckons. Third here last year. Very, very satisfying to come back and get it right. Barring disaster, we're looking at the champion. Although the gap behind her, it'll be interesting to see if that is... A, you can see another distance behind her, about 100 metres back, another runner. Now, I'd like to check whether that's a, a lady elite or a, a male national standard Frenchman running. But there's no faltering in the stride of the Kenyan. She's moving strongly. I can't see her being caught now. Nineteen on the clock. 2.20, a nice barrier for some athletes to uh, get under. The uh, presentation being made to the uh, leading three men. The leading three women's presentations are at 20 past 11 in uh, local time here in Paris in 15 minutes. Now, Chala chasing hard, chasing Chemlani. But I don't think she's going to get there. I think she's going to run out of Parisian roads because with uh, two hours 20 on the clock, 1.4 kilometers to go. That's about five minutes of running for uh, Visline Jep Kesho. Surely she won't be caught now. The bands continue to boom out their rhythm around the course of the Paris Marathon. Don't let's forget that while we're enjoying the unfolding of these elite races, there's something like 45, maybe 50,000 runners in their wake now on the course of Paris, on the streets of Paris. 
enjoying these glorious conditions. The great thing about today is that even though the sun's shining, we understand the temperature is never going to get too hot. It's never going to get up to sort of 17 or 18 or 20 degrees centigrade today. So if it stays around 11, 12, 14, that's pretty much ideal for these marathon runners today. Chala, Gulume Chala, the 24-year-old, winner of Frankfurt last year, has seen uh, Jep Kesha head up the road ahead of her and away from her and is powerless to stop the Kenyan heading to victory. Sure. Hard to tell if he's happy with that or not because he's not amongst the elite on my list, but it's a very sound running. Anything down uh, under 230 is good running. Anything under 220 is superb. And then you start getting into world-class territory for the men. For the ladies, well, Paris, I think, will uh, have to wait another year for a sub-220 clocking on this course. 2.22 on the clock here in uh, Avenue Foch for Albon. As mentioned earlier, Paris is renowned for having a very high quality finishing rate. In other words, as we see the first three in this a women's race, Jep Kesho, Chala and Tefera, as things stand at the moment, and that's at 40K, 217.56. And she has a good lead, doesn't she? That's a 17 seconds lead for uh, Jep Kesho. And let's just check that uh, split, 217.56. Of uh, 56 for Jep Kesho at 40k. That puts her on schedule for about 2 2:25:30. So she she has rallied. She has picked up the tempo in these last few kilometres to get back under 2:26. Chala in uh, second place, chasing hard. But as I said, she is going to run out of uh, road, even if she were closing. She's the young lady who I pointed out, and she's only 24. She's run 10 marathons, including uh, in the last three years. That's too many. In 2013 and 2014, she ran three per year. But uh, she has improved dramatically as uh, Viseline Jeb Kesho now begins to reach the end of her journey through the Bois de Boulogne. She's negotiated Allée de la Reine Marguerite and Allée de Longchamp. Negotiates a couple more twists and turns before getting out to Port Dauphine. She will have crossed the periphery, the massive circular road that goes all the way around central Paris. Crosses that, it'll be some 20 meters below her. And uh, will very shortly enter New Avenue Foch. Two hours, 24 and a half minutes on the clock. The leader to left of picture, the pursuer Chala behind the Kenyan. Chala from Ethiopia is in second place. And in 50 meters, Jeb Kesho will see the glorious side of the finish line in Avenue Foch. Well, she's rallied well, hasn't she? There it is. Now she can see the finish line. 300 metres run to run for the 28-year-old Visaline Jep Kesho. She was third here last year in her personal best. She dropped out of Nagoya three weeks ago. She won her two marathons in 2014. She knows how to get it right at the marathon distance. Winning in Milan in April 2014. Winning in Lisbon, Portugal in October 2014. Well, in April 2016, she's a winner once again because Kenya is going to have a double champion today. Remember in the men's race, it was Cyprian Kotut who took the Paris title. But the women's winner of the 40th Schneider Electric Paris Marathon in 2016 is this lady, Viseline Jep Kesho. It's been a supreme performance for her, destroying the opposition in the latter stages. And she takes the title in 2.25.53, unofficially. Jep Kesho there, crossing the line, what, some 20 seconds or so to the good. Chala crosses the line then in 2.26.12, unofficially. So about some 19 seconds down by my reckoning. Good solid run from her. 
and good prize money too for second place. Something like 15,000 euros. There are different prize lists depending on the times the athletes run. Women's race is another of the uh, Ethiopians, but they've been unable to hold back the Kenyans on this occasion. That winning time of uh, Jep Kesho, by the way, is unofficial. That's uh, by my reckoning. Well, Visalign uh, Jeb Kesho winning the women's race, as she said, with a strong surge from 30 kilometers onwards. She made much of the pace last year when she was uh, finished in third place. She said, this year, it was for me. I looked after number one, and she became number one, did Visalign Jeb Kesho, the biggest victory of her career. Chala, well, she took second place, Gulume Chala. About 19 seconds down, all smiles from the 24-year-old, the Frankfurt winner of last year. And uh, her compatriot, Tefera, taking third place. So Ethiopians in second and third in the women's race, even though it was a Kenyan win. Confirmation of the win for Vizalign Jep Kesho, though, in 2.25.57 in that ladies' race with Gulume Chala, 2.26.14, what, some 17 seconds down, and uh, Tefera, 228.13.